How's it going, everyone? Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure and honor being with you here today as we start a little bit of a Let's Play series on the long drive. If you uh, are a returning subscriber, welcome. If you are new to this channel, welcome. It's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Uh, we did do a let look at the long drive a few days ago uh, with an episode. You know, we, we kind of looked at it, kind of get, get our feet wet in a way and understood that this game is unique. <laughs> it's very unique. And it has a charm to it, and I'm actually kind of enjoying it. It's very simple, right? It's very simple, uh, but it's uh, it's definitely fun. Um, so what is The Long Drive? It's a randomly generated world where you go and uh, you take a drive, and you you know, you know kind of see stuff. There's random generated buildings. Uh, you clean up a car. You build cars. You drive cars. Uh, distance driven is, you know, the pride and ego that you get. You know, oh, dude, I, I drove 1,000 kilometers. I'm awesome. You know, you kind of have that bragging right in a way. Uh, we will not be playing on peaceful. We will have auto clutch and auto shift because I am playing on keyboard and mouse. It just be a lot easier. Um, so, yes, you guys smashed the like button. And you guys actually told me in the let's look at that you guys wanted to see a series out of this. So, yes, this is this is why we're doing it again. If you are new, I would consider hitting that subscribe button because we will be playing this. And if you enjoy the long drive, then this is the place to be. All right. With all that being said, I think it's time to just jump into a brand new series or a brand new world of the long drive 1934031207 is going to be our seed if you would like to play along with us here we go Woo. all right so here we are um like i said in the first time playing this we 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 tinkered and we, we messed around with a bunch of things that i didn't even need to mess around with um and i, I one thing about this game if you are interested in, in picking it up is definitely um Not that. Um, it's definitely a uh, a game, control-wise, it, it, it can be difficult at times to, to understand what and how things work. But I figured out how this works, so I think that's how it works, right? Why am I, like, on a moving, walking escalator thing? I don't even know what those things are called, but the things that, you know, you, 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 you know what? This is actually probably bad at example. Bad example. All right, let's just see what we have in our garage here. Oh, baby, look at this. Got a nice little yellow, uh, I'm, I, I won't know the name of it, <laughs> but we have a nice yellow yellow thing here. We will pick up a BB gun. Uh, we will take all that. However, in the recent update, and I'm not fully you know aware of all the updates and all that in this game, so don't think I am, but in the recent update, we did find out, or I did find out that one, I'm gonna turn that on, that, that has nothing to do with the update, I just like to have the lights on, that upstairs, there's a freaking katana. There's a sword, and I would love to see that. Now I have, there, there is different, there is different biomes. There's winter, there's grass, uh, there's the desert here. And I've kind of dabbled into the other ones, like the grass. Uh, however, like the grass is like so, um, it's very intense in a way. Like it's very, very intense. Like the grass is very long and all that. But now how to get in here? That's a fantastic question. I could see. The katana it's right there <laughs> just get me in though there we go all right figured it out that's that's a little weird this is bad this is actually bad this is this is this is a terrible idea get me up get me up partner there we go all right so we do have what is this <gasps> what is that number one oh my god does this say what i think it says Number one. Number one what? I'm scared. Number one. Horfusk. Horfusk? Horfusk? Number one Horfusk? All right. We'll, we'll, like, pretend. We'll just put that down there for now. There is a jizz in it, or jizz on it, or you know what it is. Haha, <laughs> funny. <laughs> we'll put that down there as well. There is a, what is this, like a bicycle mirror that we could probably attach to the car. We will do that as well. Put that down there. Yeah, so the, the idea of the, the game is to like just build cars. You can build funky cars, funny cars. There's evil rabbits that you can he hear outside and it's like really scaring me. So there is that. We will grab this sponge. All the supplies that we can take with us. There we go. And here we go. Look at this. We have the freaking... Katana. Yeah! Slice away, baby. 
Oh god, what is that? What is that? Might be like a... Oh, I think that's like a... Uh... Yeah, I think it's a um, like a car freshener thing, my bobber, I think. Let's, let's actually pick that up and let's put that down there. We might be able to attach that inside the car as well. This looks like a rebar. Like, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> so let's drop down here. All right. Let's go downstairs. We can figure out what we have downstairs. There might be some new stuff downstairs that we don't know about. I don't want to fall downstairs, but I would like to look downstairs. Turn on the light. We do have a rim. We do have a blow-up doll. And we do have a, a beetle possible smelly good thingy that to put in the car as well. Alcohol. Yes, we have a canister of alcohol. And we have a canister of diesel. Looks like we will be rocking with a blue paint. Is this blue? Or is this black? This might be black, actually. We might be rocking with a black paint. Not too upset about that. I, I could definitely get down with that. Let's just put that down for now, though. Because first things first is we're going to need to check our car out. Um, and, and so let me just be like a forewarning here. I mean, we could take the gun, but do we need to take the gun? I don't think so. We have a freaking sword, dude. Um, but I will take the binoculars because I do like the uh, binoculars. Thank you very much. Um, so a few things can be said here. Um, I am not a car mechanic. I am not remotely, uh, can you guess? I'm not remotely, um, familiar with the, the car handling of cars. <laughs> I did not choose a car profession, um, out of, you know, I, I, look, I, I've not worked on a car other than maybe change an oil, but that's it. Uh, so fuel tank, zero point five out of 24 liters that's bad we need gas uh three percent oil 98 percent gas i don't know i felt like there i feel like there's a different gauge for the oil like that looks like the oil cap but maybe not all right so what we need to do at least is fill it up with some gas let's pick up some gas here let's bring it in um and let's let's give us some gas there we go fill it up all right, so two and a half liters of gas. That's that's decent for now. What we will do, we will actually take uh, this canister with us because I feel like it, it, it could come in handy. Um, it could, it could not. Who knows, really? Um, and like an extra tire probably is good to have also. So we'll do that. Put the jerry can in there. Uh, and I believe this is water. So this is water. I don't know if we need water right now, um, but I'll take it anyways, just in case, right? I don't think there's like a coolant or anything. Again, I don't know how a coolant works. Um, I'm sorry for not having that knowledge. <laughs> Slam that thing. Slam the trunk there. So there we go. I think we're okay with the engine for now. So another thing that we can do is start to uh, kind of make this thing look pretty. Yeah, let's start making this thing look pretty. And so with that, we use this little scrubby scrub throw. Kind of buff it out a little bit, right? I'm not making it worse, am I? I hope not. I don't think I am. There is this like little like rust part right there that we can get rid of maybe. You see that, right? Like I'm not I'm not crazy. I don't think I'm crazy. What about the hubcaps? Can we do the hubcaps? Oh, maybe not. So I think you know, this probably is like priming it up kind of, right? Maybe in a way. I don't know. Okay, so you see, I did that and the rust popped out. So this might be a bad idea, uh, what I'm doing. So let's just put this down for now. Uh, down. Now we do have the jizz in it. Jizz on it, jizz on it. And this should help us somewhat. Okay, yeah, it kind of like makes it... I don't want to say smooth it out, but I guess it works, right? Does that actually work with the rust? Okay, I'm wasting that on the rim. It looks it looks better, right? It does look better in some degree. We do have another one, so we will use that. Let's just throw that right there. Here's another one. Yeah, it does it does look like it's making it better. So that's good. Oh, there we go. Ah. As you see, we've made progress. Oh baby. So does the jizz on it jizz in it jizz I need to find a better word for this. Does it just uh, kind of like, you know, make things look shinier, I, I guess, right? Now, we can use the brush. Let's use the brush. Let's equip it. And the brush, I think, makes things shine. Maybe. 
Let's see here. Yeah, okay, so it does make things shine. Okay, great. So I guess this car isn't yellow. It's actually a green. Um, but it was, like, so bad and... Not bad, but, like, it was so, um... You know, the color. It was, it was distorted, right? It was distorted color. So the car wasn't yellow. It was actually green. That's good to know. And there is, like, a little bumper action I do need to take care of here. Scrub this up. Nope, my, my brush is actually done. Okay, so let's just yeet that into the corner there. Fantastic. Um, I should have one more, right? I should have one more. That is in here. Thank you. Give me that. Fantastic. That door is open, it, you know. And there's bunnies out there. Just got to be careful. I've never died. I don't know if you can die. You probably can die in this game, but I've never died. So there we go. The bumper is taken care of, I think. Nope. That's, uh... Shut the door. Is that... No, maybe I... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Pick it up. Equip it. Put it back in your hand. Scrub it. Thought I did this well. Maybe not. Now you can clean the engine and everything, and you can clean the, uh, there we go, now it's green. You can clean the inside of the car. I haven't even tried doing the hubcaps or anything. You could probably do that too, eventually, with, with the right materials. Let's do that. Scrub the back here. As long as we get, like, you know, the back end. There is a couple, like, tires and rims around here that we could possibly use. Scrub that again. Oh, dude, I think we're out. Yep, we are out of that as well. All right. I just hit the freaking oil can. That's my bad. So I am going to take the oil can, believe it or not, uh, just in case, you know, I don't know. Maybe it will be helpful. Maybe it will not. I don't know, dude. There we go. Slam that. So we do have a couple tires that we can use, um, and we do have a couple rims that we can use. So what we can do is we can do this, pick this up, grab that, mount that, grab this, do that. And then we can disconnect the hubcap. And the tire. Oh, dude, those are actually newer tires. So we will use this tire. And we will just change it out for the rim. There we go. Oh, my God. Okay, pick that up. All right, so good. Was not expecting this car to have better tires, but it works out. Fantastic. This, I mean, the tires on that look just about the same. The rims, however, could be better. Let me check all around here. Okay, the tire could be better there. Oh, the tire could definitely be better here. So let's actually take this one out. There we go. And hopefully these tires are like a little bit better. They do seem like they are better. So let's go ahead and dismount that. Get rid of that. Put that into that that and then grab that and put this on this side of the car here excuse my you know miss please there we go put the hubcap back on fantastic um and then we do have technically one more decent tire we'll check here that one seems okay that one that one seems pretty bad actually so let's actually take that out yeah, this one is pretty bad. So we'll do that, do that. And I'm actually going to keep this rim and then just get rid of the tire. And I'm going to grab that tire and I'm going to put that right there, that and fantastic. Okay, great. So now with all this being said and done, we should be all good to go. There we are. And there is this, which is a light to have. So I am going to take this too because you never know. Like, what if we get stranded out in the dark, right? I don't know, dude. So let's open up the trunk. Let's put this. Let's bring this in just a little bit more. And we'll go, bam. That barely made it in there. Bam. Okay, great. Shut that. One more last thing that we need to do. Slam that thing. <laughs> One thing we need to do is paint the car. Now, I do want to use uh, the black paint for sure. So let's paint the car black. I, I think this is black. I'm assuming it is. Unless it's like a cream color. If it is, I am a little disappointed. It looks like a brown. Get, get that out of here. I don't want that. Give me the green then. There we go. All right. So at least it's a darker green. It's not going to be like this 
you know, shit stained green. It is a, a, a you know, and uh, not even an emerald green. It's like a blue green. That's okay. It's better than what it was before, I guess. We won't have enough paint to paint the entire car. That's just how it is. Um, so we are going to be rolling two-tone uh, for a little bit until we can find more paint, at least. Now, one thing we could do is we could change the mirror out for a new mirror. That mirror looks actually pretty pristine, so I'm going to stay away from that. And this mirror does also look pristine as well. Um, but eventually, we can make it look all goofy and funny and all that. Haha. -ha. So that's a, that, that would be something. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a it's a it's a gauge. Okay, so if we needed a gauge, I don't know if we need a gauge, but if we needed a gauge, we could have a gauge. So let's actually pick up this thing. So if you remember this, this is the. Uh... Does it say anything? I don't even know, dude. Can we attach it? Okay, attach. Okay, so we attached it. Where did it go? Oh, it's right there. It's just hanging. It's hanging. It's hanging and dangling. Oh, dude, there's BBs. There's BBs in there? <gasps> nice. Now, I haven't even tried turning on this car yet, so let's turn it on. Okay, so it is not going to work. We might need to put something in it for sure. And not gas because we've already done gas. Okay, let's turn it off. So let's go ahead and find out what we need to put in. Probably like like something useful, <laughs> something really useful. All right, so what I've done and what I've done did is I've added some oil to the gas. Now I might need to have to add some uh, some added oil to the gas, add oil to the tank. I might need to add some water as well. So let's go ahead and give this up a try here. There we go. All right, so we do have a working motor, um, but. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop out and I am going to add some water to it just in case. I do not want this thing to overheat while we are on the, uh, on the 405. <laughs> so let's see here. Oh God. There we go. Like 10% water, I guess. I don't even know, dude. I've never done this. Um, but I guess this is fine. As long as it just doesn't overheat, I think we're okay. So let's go and do that. Drop that. Uh, shut the trunk, please. Slam that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's close the cap to this. There we go. And then shut that. And then there we are. All right. Fantastic. Get in. The you know what? It is dark outside, admittedly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the car, turn it off. What we'll do is we will sleep. We will sleep before we leave because uh, it is once this well, in this game, when it gets dark, dude, it gets really, really dark, really dark. Um, Put that to the side. Open up. I guess I can I. I mean, I could sleep right here. What is that? Oh, it's a it's a broken bottle. <laughs> All right, so there we go. All right, let's go ahead and sleep. There we go and sleep. And the you know the world freaking spins a thousand miles an hour. You probably can't see it. Maybe now you can. Uh, yeah. So that's that. All right, so now it is uh, time to, to leave this area and find out what we have in store for us. So let's open up the garage here. First glance, you know, take a round. Is there any crazy uh, bunnies that are going to kill us? Uh, no, doesn't seem like it. Do we have binoculars? Hell, hell's to the yes. Look at that. Anything around us that, that might be worthwhile? Doesn't seem like it. There's no buildings or anything. Oh, wait, there's one right there. That looks like a... That's a restaurant, I believe? Wow, these things are so far away. Yeah, so a lot of different things that we can get to. So uh, we'll get to it all eventually. Let's go ahead and jump into the car and quit wasting time. Um, I could bring that. You know what? I'm, I'm going to bring it. Let me pick this up. We'll bring this just in case. Um, and Can I, like, throw this in the back seat or something? I guess not. I'll just uh, I'll throw it in the trunk. There we go. And slam it. Bam. All right. So let's go. Let's get the hell out of here finally. Shut that. Turn on the car. Take off the emergency brake. Just take a look at our vehicle now that we've added water because I totally didn't even think about that. Put this bad boy in reverse and let, let's, let's pull out. Yeah. 
Now there is black smoke coming out. You know what? One thing I need to do is actually fix my mirror. Um, there is black smoke coming out of the car. I don't know if that's normal. Oh my god. I just heard a weird noise. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get up this hill. That's alright. We'll go to the left here. Now, there is black smoke coming out of the back of the car. Um, and I will keep an eye on, like, my temperature gauge, I guess. I think that's down there, right? No, that might be my RPMs. I don't even know, dude. What is that? I don't know. But, uh, one... This vehicle has a... There's a dead animal on the road there. <laughs> this vehicle has a very loud engine to it. Uh, I will give it that. Um, so let's actually pull out of here, yeah. Let's look at third person so that people are not getting sick. So yeah, this is the long drive. So the point of the long drive is to just drive, drive, and drive. Uh, racking up your kilometer miles, right? To have like the big ego and be like, yeah, dude, guess what? I have, I've driven a thousand kilometers. I'm a badass. Rightfully, you are, my man. You are a badass. Um, but you, you go through the drive here. There will be random buildings, different sites, different locations, different landmarks that you can fall upon here. Um, and you'll find new cars. You'll find trucks. You'll find buses. You'll find faster cars than what we're in. I just realized that this car is very slow. It's a very slow car. I, I, I will say that. You'll find more parts that you can add to your car. Uh, you can find uh, paint, everything. Everything you can find, really, that we kind of dabbled in a little bit at the beginning there. Anytime you start a new world with a new seed, I'm assuming, you're not going to get the same car as me. You could. You could get the same car, uh, but there's a possibility of getting a different car as well. Um, and different stuff inside that sh starting shed, for the most part. So, yeah, right now we'll just... Um, We'll continue. As you can see, there's black smoke. I, again, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that's from. If you guys know what black smoke is from, I would love to know. <laughs> I would love to know uh, because I might be doing something wrong. I don't want to blow up my my. What in the world is that over there? Looks like a building. Um, I don't want to blow up my car and be stranded out here in the middle of the highway that no one visits. So, yeah. Anyways. We do have BBs in the uh, glove box there, so that, that's that's something. We have a radio I haven't ever used before, so maybe we can try that. How do we use that? Oh, you can actually just... Oh, my God. How do you turn it on? You just have to find a station? And hopefully it comes on? Like, is there a volume? Oh, there is a volume knob. Oh, my God. Yeah, let's turn on the volume here. Let's let's try to find a station as we go through here. How many of you guys think that if the robots would develop consciousness, that they would try to attack, kill, or overthrow us? What? I think it's a little far-fetched, but, you know, it could happen. <laughs> okay. So back to our main topic, robots having sex. I mean, our main topic is the future, but, you know, this is a really important part of it. Can you imagine robots that build each other? Okay, let's forget about sex now. I know I talked too much about it. So there are two robots. They build a more advanced robot than themselves. And you know, we have no business in this. What the hell did he just say? I know how they built it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? Just like genetic mutations and the evolution. I've never heard this radio before. Builds another one. And that robot builds another robot. <laughs> Man, you know, the building process and the whole speed of it's whole... Uh, it reminds me of, like... Let's turn this down a little bit. It reminds me of, like, iRobot, right? Robot builds another robot, and then a robot builds another robot. I know they didn't do that in iRobot, but it kind of just reminds me of that. Like, the robots that were there, right? They helped the people out, and then the robots that... The, the advanced robots that they built were to, to replace the older robots... Um, under a very, like, evil, I don't want to spoil the movie if you've never seen iRobot starring Will Smith, but that's, you know, it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good, uh, good movie, I would say. Now, I'm hoping that you, like, maybe hear some music of any, of some sort. I doubt any of this music would be copyrighted if it is. I don't know, man. 
Maybe there's a different station we can listen to. I don't know if that's the only station. That would suck if that's the only station. Might be the only station. Oh! I think it's the same station, but on a different frequency. Alright, that's alright. Is that a building? Oh, baby, we got something coming up here. Changing the station. And driving at the same time. Very, very dangerous. You know, I don't... I don't know what he's saying. Is that the Telemundo? What? Oh, that's a rock! Oh, that's another rock! Oh my god! Hold on tight! Ladies and gentlemen, hold on tight. Okay, I'd rather spin it than almost like hit a rock. But look at this building here. We've actually found something here. Let's turn this thing down. This is a new building? I, well, I say new because it's new to me. But I've never been to this building before. So let's go ahead and pull up and see what the what the hap is. See if there's anything worthwhile here. There's like a well that like looks dry or empty or go somewhere. I don't even know, dude. Is there something down there? I feel like there's something down there. Let's get out. Let's get out of the car. Let's check this place out. I don't think I can get in there. But I believe there was something down there. So here we are, um, you know, I guess. Welcome to the screenshot. <laughs> um, oh my god, there's a vehicle inside this house. There's a vehicle inside this house. Why? Why, why, why? Why is there a vehicle in here? How did a vehicle get in here? Pick up? I guess it's a bed? That's an arm? That's a toilet? Oh, there's another car, though. Oh, dude, look at this car. Oh, this car looks nice. Is it, is it operable? Please tell me it's operable. It looks fast. What do we have here? I mean, that... That's the coolant, right? Coolant is empty. Okay, oil tank. We got 35% oil, 58% alcohol, 7% diesel. Does it take diesel? I wonder if this car actually runs. Oh, dude, look at this car. Okay, so it doesn't run, and it might be because of the... Oh, God. We oh, there's something on the... On, on the... On the building there. Oh, dude! Okay. Um, it might be because there's, um... There's no coolant in it, maybe? Or there could be other issues, obviously. So, what about... I mean, this is a door. But what about this car in here? Dude? Can we take any parts from it, you think? Dude, what is this? I keep seeing it. Not a snake, a coil. Do I have to use a coil for an engine? Probably not, right? I dropped it. I dropped it. Where'd it go? Where'd my coil? Well, it's too bad, too sad, I guess. You know, I, I would use it on this, but I, I don't even know if this car is going to be operable for us. I, I really would like to see if it, if it will be or not. Uh, this, however, like, what the hell is going on here? Can we push it? Oh my god, the door came off. Okay, nope. Not what I want. Not what I want. That's alright. We're okay. Alright, so what do we got here? So a lot of rusted, rusted options going on here. Coolant is still not the way to go. Five liters, or actually it's 100% oil. There's nothing else in there. Hmm. Now, do I have to put water in the coolant? Is that what I need to do? I don't even know what to put in the coolant. We do have some water in the other in the other vehicle, so let's actually go ahead and try and test that out. Um, this is like a two-story house, but is there no stairs? I didn't even see stairs. Let's try it out. Let's see. I mean, after all, it is a it, it is a test. Um, is this the water? What is this? Or is this empty jerry can? What is this? Empty. Okay, so this is the water. Okay, I did not put the brake on. That might be an issue. There we go. <laughs> okay, so the brake is on now. So this is water. So let's actually test this out. 
This might be our ticket home, right? This might be our ticket to this vehicle, or I could be a complete idiot and not know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I, I'm going to go with the ladder there. I, I will be honest. All right, so let's see here. Coolant is empty. Open it. Fill it. Yeah, fill it with water. Coolant. Fill it all the way? Almost all the way. All right. So let's actually see. Let's see. Will that now start the car? Oh, is it missing a battery? Oh, I think it's missing a battery. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, you know, again, battery, we could probably already have that. It's probably over here. It is getting dark. I do see that. Don't don't think I don't. We should have a battery in this car, right? Like, is this the battery? That doesn't even look like a freaking battery, dude. Like, that's the only thing you can take out of that car. All right, so let's let's just test this out. I doubt it's going to be our our way to go, uh, but let's be honest here. Um, I'm working. You're working with what you got. So, if by any miracle I can put this into this car, can I mount it? I don't. Oh no, nope, I think this is like part of the engine, dude. Yeah, this is not. This is not. This is not the answer. All right. So there was something over here. You know what? Let's actually sleep real quick. Can't sleep yet. Oh, excuse me. Why not? Um. Oh. <laughs> is it because we're not tired? Is that why we can't sleep yet? Oh, dude, that's that's an issue. That's a big issue. Okay, get me out of here. There we go. Oh wait, maybe we have to wait for it to be completely dark. So does this have a battery? Okay, that does not. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm leaking. I'm leaking it out. That's bad. I don't think this has a battery, dude. I'm like tearing that car up. So it obviously doesn't have an engine, but it doesn't have a battery as well. So that's all right, I guess. Because I feel like the engine would go, or the battery would like go right here or something. Okay. Let's go ahead and sleep away so that we don't have the YouTube and the terrible, you know, you know how YouTube is when it's a dark video. It's very hard to see. Very, very hard to see. So there we go. All right. So there was something on the outside here. Right here. <gasps> it's a freaking bike. Oh, my. No, no, no. You don't understand. Pick up. Oh, baby. Now, I did pull this thing out of it. At least I know what this is now. I was wondering what this thing was before. But now I know what it is. What does that sound? Yo! 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 What does that do? What does that do? What does that actually do? Other than scare the crap out of me. I don't even know. Um, let's pull this back and let's put this back in our vehicle. Because apparently battery is not going to be something that we, we do here today. Um, I, I don't think you can get up to the second level, can you? It'd be a shame if you can't. Like, can I shimmy up a, up a wall or something? But this bike is actually kind of cool to see. There we go. Yeah, this bike is really cool to see. Like, can I stand it up? How do I rotate it? No! You bastard. Um, pick up. No. Sit. This is bad. <laughs> Get off of this, my man. Okay, so put it upright. Oh, God, the controls. Okay, put it down. Now. Don't. All right, you know what? F the bike. F the bike for now. I'll take one more look. Doesn't look like there's any stairs to this building. So I have no idea how you would get up to the top. It could be, you know, you could be able to do it. You could not be able to do it. You know, I don't know. 
Um, but I feel like we, we could do more here, but I, my, my mental capacity is not filling it, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not imagining the right things right now. Um, and that, that's just how it is. Like, I'm, I'm just not that good at these types of games. Uh, that's why I really rely, oh my god, that's why I really rely on your guys' uh, feedback, for sure. So let's go do that, and let's do that, and put the jerry can back in there. And do that and uh, yeah I think uh, I think that's okay I think we can move on to the next next landmark slash building maybe uh, we did violate our car uh, in, in a in a terrible way but it is what it is um, let's see if there is any jizzanite or jizzanite or any cleaning supplies of, of any sort because I would love to see that yo equip that one don't throw it on the ground dude equip it there we go all right it's been real um i probably would have loved to, to to drive this did i even open this oh uh, yeah i would probably would have loved to drive um uh, that that car but that's okay because there probably will be another opportunity where where i where i will be able to so um this is probably useless i think all the rust is gone well actually wait a second can we do the wheels Oh, baby, that wasn't useless. Great. We just didn't have enough. All right. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to do it in today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like. We got some crazy thing. A UFO went that way, and I don't know what the hell it's going to do. And I think I see a building way off into the distance. You know what? Let's actually pull out this. That's a rock. That's a rock, but that is a, a, uh, a rabbit right there. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next the long drive episode eventually. Do take care. Hey.